Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very interesting question from exponential equations. It is 5 power x plus 35 power x by 2 equal to 7 power x. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get it started by writing one powerful exponential law. It is a power b times c. We can write equal to a power b whole power c. So 35 power x by 2. I can write equal to 35 power 1 by 2 whole power x which is equal to square root 35 whole power x. Let us put this value to our equation. So I can write 5 power x plus square root 35 power x equal to 7 power x. Now we know that 7 power x is exponential function. It cannot be equal to 0. So we can divide both sides by 7 power x. Right side also. So RHS will be 1. Now I will write one property of exponent again a power x over b power x. Anytime we can write a over b whole power x. And second property which I will use here it is a square root a b. We can write equal to a square root a times a square root b. So let us apply here. So I will be writing. 5 over 7 whole power x. Then it was square root 35 which I will write square root 5 times square root 7 and power will be x divided by 7 power x. Right hand side is 1. Now I will write another exponent law. It is a times b whole power x we can write equal to a power x times b power x. So let's apply. I will be writing 5 over 7 whole power x plus root 5 power x times root 7 power x over 7 power x right hand side is 1. Now I will use a power x over b power x property here. So I can write 5 over 7 whole power x plus this is root 5 whole power x and this will become 1 over root 7 whole power x equal to 1 or we can write 5 over 7 whole power x plus root 5 over 7 whole power x equal to 1. Now it is substitution time. I will substitute square root 5 over 7 whole power x equal to y suppose. So let us consider. Let me write here. 5 over 7 whole power x plus square root 5 over 7 whole power x equal to 1. So I can consider square root 5 over 7 whole power x equal to y. So squaring both sides I can write 5 over 7 whole power x this will be equal to y square. So I can write here y square plus y equal to 1. Now this is one quadratic equation. Take all the term to one side y square plus y minus 1 equal to 0. This is exponential function as per substitution. 
so y will be always greater than 0. This cannot be 0, this cannot be negative. So I will accept only y positive from this solution of this quadratic equation. So let's apply quadratic formula y equal to minus b, so minus 1 plus minus under the root b square, so 1 is square minus 4ac, so minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 divided by 2a, so 2 times 1. So I am getting minus 1 plus minus square root 1 plus 4 divided by 2. So I can write minus 1 plus minus square root 5 divided by 2. This is our y. With plus sign we can write root 5 minus 1 over 2. With minus sign it will become minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. Because of second value is negative, this is negative value and y is always greater than 0. So we will reject this solution. This is rejected. And this solution is accepted solution. So y is equal to root 5 minus 1 over 2. And what is y? It is square root 5 over 7 power x. Let's put square root 5 over 7 whole power x equal to square root 5 minus 1 over 2. If I will calculate this value, then this is 0 0.618. So I can write root 5 over 7 power x as 5 over 7 whole power 1 by 2. So finally we can write it is x by 2 equal to 0 0.618. Now I will consider log both sides. So log this side also log. It is with base 10 I am taking. Now I will write one log property log a power b it is equal to b log a. So let's apply this power will be multiplier. So I will write x by 2 log 5 over 7 equal to log 0 0.618. So I can write log a over b. It is equal to log a minus log b. So I can write x by 2 log 5 minus log 7 equal to log 0 0.618. So x is equal to 2 times log 0 0.618 divided by log 5 minus log 7. After putting the value of log 5, log 0 0.618 and log 7, I will get my solution. It is 2.86. So this is positive accepted solution. Now I will cross examine our solution. Let's check. So I will write verification. X is equal to 2.86. Equation is here. So I will write LHS as 5 power. 2.86 plus 35 power half of 2.86 is 1.43 and right side it should match with 7 power 2.86. Now 5 power 2.86 is 
1.442. So if I will add both, I will be having 261.22. This is our LHS. Now if I will check the value of RHS also, it is 7 power 2.86. Then this value is 261.2. So it is almost equal to LHS 261.2. So our solution is x is equal to 2.86. I hope this video will be somewhere meaningful to you friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next video, goodbye. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.